So throughout from the time that I really grew up, it was a crazy upbringing. To the college that was chosen, to the man that was chosen. Do I have any regrets? I don't know whether I have regrets or not, that was a way of life. For someone it may be, what you talking about? But for me that was my reality and I'm sure you can connect with this. Not every one of you in this room were educated from me. And if that was the case, people wouldn't be asking me what's the pillow to me. Right? We don't know our internals. So, I want you to just take two minutes off here and think. How were you told about your period? What were you told about your period? Was it a happy time? Anybody wants to share? We may not have time to complete the whole thing, which I'm, I told you right in the beginning. But it's okay, as much we will complete today is fine. Is that fine? I want you guys to understand, not go with just a head full of knowledge. I want you to connect with it. Anybody wants to share? How were you told about your period? How were you, what, what was the reaction? Thank you. My mom called it a curse. Your mom called it a curse. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? A mom called it a curse. And why? Did you ask her ever? No. No. We don't ask. Good girls don't ask questions. They're supposed to be quiet. Anybody else? Please. Thank you. Uh, when I had my, my first period, my mom, uh, I came out to her in the kitchen. That she came out to the kitchen? I came out in the kitchen with a blood run. And she said, oh my God, child, get, out, get off the way before the men can come in. Very good. She was told when she went out in the kitchen with the blood on her panties, don't go out of the way before men come. Something to hide. Your hiding starts there. Anybody else you were going to share? My mom told me about before I forgot. She said, I hope you're not like your aunt who has really long, painful periods. I hope you're not like your aunt who has long and painful periods. It's almost like a hypnotic suggestion. And mine doesn't hear not. So it's like saying, all of you, please do not see the pink elephant drinking blue color water. Please do not see pink color elephant drinking blue color water. All of you saw it. Anybody else likes to share? Thank you. Uh, it's when you become a woman and it's beautiful and she really wanted to share. There was celebration. Around. Wow, there was celebration and she said it's an amazing thing to happen. Can we just clap for all? <laughs> Anybody else like to share? We are told a lot about this in school in Denmark, so and we are so open, so we talk about it. So it's not often it, it's our parents who tell us because we know before it happens. Wonderful. It's not. It's told even in Indian schools, but yeah. yeah. So Denmark, it is told in the school. So she said that she didn't have a problem. Excellent. Congratulations. Anybody else? Yes. This is not personal. Um, I actually. This is not personal? Yeah, this is not personal, but uh, in Japan, uh, in the culture. In the Japan, Japanese culture? Yes. Uh, we actually uh, cook the uh, rice with beans to celebrate. We and actually cook rice, rice with beans to celebrate. In some parts of India, you celebrate. In some parts of India, you cry. It depends on which part of India you come. Wonderful, that's a great sharing, guys. Anybody else? Yes, Palvini. It's not about me, uh, but that's okay. I always remember this girl when we were in school, and we were quite old. She always remembers a girl who was in school? We were about 14. Um, she was, was about 14? Which was quite late to be getting your period. Which was and, quite late getting your period? Um, I know from, I know she had a mother, I mean, she lived in a family, she got her period in school and she had no idea what was happening to her. She got a period in school and she had no idea what was happening to her. Like she'd never been told. Like she'd never been told. You can imagine she was never been told. I mean, I remember at the time being horrified and we helped her out. And yeah, I, I personally remember at that time being horrified and they did help her out. It can be horrifying. I mean, horrified that she didn't know. Can that create a conflict, guys? How much time? So let's go ahead. I hope you picked up a lot of data here, a lot of units which can happen over here, a lot of units that may make you feel that I'm bleeding and I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. Don't be 
UPS is here, blood, hemorrhage, always the drying, something horrible. Don't like seeing that red. The reasons for painful periods. As a little child, if there was a cake cooked at home, you would smell it and you would allow the water to come in your mouth, wouldn't you? As a girl, when you're growing up, talking about sex is taboo. Discussing even about the period is like hide under the carpet. You celebrate it. Some communities celebrate, some don't, some hide. But if you know something has changed about you. And at the same time, the progesterone and the estrogen levels are playing up in your body. They're making you feel like a woman, you're growing your breasts, you're looking more pretty, you're becoming a woman. You see a man, you want to make love to him. Your hormones are playing up. Yet, that's not what good girls are supposed to do, especially in my country. You're sent to a home science college because there are only girls. There is no chance that I can, while getting educated, get pregnant. So, we want to hide how we feel. How can we be speaking the truth that when we have learned how to suppress our urges, I'm not saying go out and make love to every second man or anybody. What I'm saying here is understand that your body is secreting hormones and you are not allowing yourself the knowledge or the way to deal with it. But if there was a cake, nobody would tell the child why does he want to eat the cake, would he? Nobody would. So you're using this all the time. All the love movies, whether it's Bollywood or Hollywood, talk about love. They fell in love. My heart beats when I look at you. And yet, people don't say it. And love really means sex. The responsibility that goes with it is not understood. So many children are born out of the wedlock. The responsibility of the child is not understood. Love does not mean independence. Love means holding. Each one of you sitting in your chair, if you were holding each other, it's different. If you're not holding each other, you are separated. Whether you like it or you don't like it. So we are very scared that our daughters will get pregnant. No one says, oh, it's okay. Or there's something called in India called eye pill. You can have sex and then have the eye pill and so you will not get, you get a period, you don't need to get aborted. And that's wonderful. So every second girl is popping eye pill. It's very good. So people are not scared of what's happening internally. They're scared that they should not show that their stomach is becoming big because that is visible. If pregnancy was not visible, we would throw our babies all over the place and we would know what happened. <laughs> because I'm sure when it's very difficult for people to take that responsibility. You don't tell people, even though it's coke and we say don't have it, drugs, you can have it, coke, you can have it, burgers, you can have it, sex, you can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> look at the Bollywood movies, look at the lip talk. Let's just start it off late. It wasn't even allowed. And this is supposed to be, you can wear Western clothes, you can have a haircut which is Western, Internally, my dear girl, you must stay an Indian forever, forever and ever because you will die an Indian and you were born one. That's how we all are, aren't we? We cling to our nationality. You can't change it. We have choices. And those are the choices this group over here gives themselves. What do you do here since we have just five minutes? Since we're going to the other one, play the, any one song, the last one. And what I want you to guys do is get up, connect, hold each other's hand. Make small groups and let's celebrate ourselves. Can we do that? That's a bye-bye song saying thank you so much. I'm sorry I didn't complete the whole thing, but I really enjoyed doing whatever I did today. Mm -hmm.